It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds. For the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicked. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. We've beaten their god twice over. Corypheus must be livid. Where is he now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Status long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. <coughs> oh, please continue. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best? If I show you. I like how I have like a mini green rift just on my war map. Anywho. Back to Dragon this Age. Is an Illuvian. And more Illuvians. From a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. An elven artifact. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. Fun. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my tribe. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? But also, where? what does it do is a fine question. It teleports you. It, if someone doesn't know what a door is and is like, what does it do? And then you open it and say, where does it lead? Okay, yeah, that kind of answers the question, but also you could have said, it it teleports you. Like, I can understand what teleportation is, I'm sure. This is a fun place. A fog doesn't make it creepy at all. You could call it Fogland. I call it the crossroads. A place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. This place is neat. How did you find this? How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. 
the ancients were nothing if not resourceful. What does that mean? If they'd only back to our world, then places between, like this one. I would fucking love if they would remaster the first Dragon Age at some time. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean a few Don't places understand why. on this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally <gasps> left ajar. Sorry. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a, a key. magic. The, the key magic key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants this. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barrier and enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. How did he learn about it? Who told him? And how did you learn about it? Who's telling these secrets? You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. What if I just went and played with some of them? I just didn't follow her back, and I just started tapping on mirrors. <clears throat> God, I really want to play the first game. Love it so much. <sighs> well, the fourth game should be out eventually, assuming it's not cancelled. If they cancel Dragon Age 4, I will be so fucking livid. Okie doke. Now we're in the garden. And we'll do the Morgan talk. Because look, it's Morgan. And a young boy. Who could this be? Her son that she mentioned? Maybe. Probably. Definitively. Who the fuck is this fucking bitch walking around my haircut? You're the Inquisitor. Mother never told me the Inquisitor was an elf. That's not such a terrible thing, is it? No, I just don't know why your people want to look like that. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on your hand, Mother? I did see. It is time to return to your studies, little man. There is quite a few graphical issues happening My son at all times. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. Uh, he's a bit odd. I feel like that's rude. He seems like a fine young man, but not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise. No son of mine would be raised in a marsh, bereft of contact with the outside world. His future will be difficult enough. Without my adding to his burden. If that's what her mom did to her. Until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. Isn't everywhere. They called it Tarar Salan place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until we But why? I am I fond like of this place. place. I've made it mine. I have a shirt with the it magic on it. in this place Cute. is seeped into the it. stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. 
You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. Oh, I know more I than you could imagine. To aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal, this I swear to you. Thank you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood, yet one must ask. I feel like that was a weird job. The old gods. What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, it is that he actually may. Mm hmm. Anywho, is it? Do you have any other. I was pleased to learn you saved the Grey Wardens from their own self destructive foolishness. For all their eagerness to shed blood for their cause, we will still need them should another blight arise. It is fortunate my warden was not there. Surely have been in the middle of it. Your warden, you might know him as the hero of Ferelden. A lot. You have a husband. I didn't see you as the type to settle down, Morgan. <laughs> you just met her kid. Picture. But even so, it has far outstripped my expectations. My love is on a quest to combat the calling. The actual calling that signals the end of a warden's life. If he is successful, it will mean a long life for him. Perhaps for them all. Once Corypheus has been defeated, I fully intend to join my love once more. Kira misses him greatly. Could he help? Is there any way the hero of Ferelden could help us against Corypheus? Is unlikely. Corypheus uses the blight, but he is not controlled by it like a true dark soul. Still, my love has ever been resourceful. I can give the Inquisition a means to send him a message. He will think this means I miss him, of course. He will be insufferably pleased with himself. I hope. Yes, I will. I mean, he will. <coughs> Inquisitor. Make sure you are quick. Yes, of course, whatever you wish. Take more raw fruit, even though it's fucking pointless. I never do potion shit. Yep. Sell this. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the bones of powerful nations, machinations, and betrayal. After our time in Halam Shiraz, I understand why. I have forgotten how I missed Lord Hindry. Glad you liked it. I'm pleased you had a good time. Political gambits, broken promises, half truths. It is a palace full of motivation, and motivation is where great things happen. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally, and Brianna as well, thanks to your efforts on her behalf. Great talk, sweetie. My whittle egg. I knew Stroud, you know, not well. He saved Hawk's little brother from the blight. Did he? I don't remember not that. Many people knew who he was, but the man was a hero when it mattered. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. This story's no good for heroes. Some of us heroes will make it. We're just too amazing to die. But if we're both still standing at the end of all this, I'll buy the drinks. Oh, uh, Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where he's going. Baker's breath. Isabella's going to be furious. Where's he going? I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. Ooh. I'm curious, I mean, there's so many choices. In the first game, yes, choices matter. And in the second game, it's removed, kind of, but some things. Because I believe Colin's in the second game, so some things transfer over. A replacement been made of you, Inquisitor. He received 
How are your duties? What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Who the fuck are I you? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency thanks to Skyhold's present state. What are your abilities? How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid But no, uh, I'm sorry to continue the train of thought with voices. This game is where they like culminate because you have so many people. Like Leliana and Morgan and Colin and As you were. Yes. Cassandra and Varric, who are all in previous games. So there's so many choices in some little way are mentioned and brought. Like Kieran exists. I hope the order values what Like Kieran might not have even been born not for if not for the choices of certain other things. I trust everything is well with the maidens. Most are pleased with So I'm curious even if we wonder if in the fourth next, game how much they'll do. So I would really love to see the hero of building. I know I can see them here. They could have been the strat replacement. But I want to you see them in the fourth game. Here on early to Vinter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. I see my library isn't up to your exacting standards. It's alarmingly chaotic. I found a copy of the Orobalian in what seemed to be the Antipan classics section. How scandalous. Someone alert the Magisterium. You laugh, but in some places there are punishments for that. Did I see something by Genesidi here? Could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? What else could it be about? What happened at Adamant, of course. We went into the Fae. Physically went in. Are you... All right. I learned a surprising amount. What happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, for one. Regained your memories. That's good, then. I think so. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. I popped in there fucking twice and I... I should be proud. So, I should be happy I twice accomplished the ground. Concern, Paula. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. You don't? You don't number among them. It's tempting. But I am no fool. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop. Back yeah, obviously, this, the issue with blood magic is obviously don't you don't have enough blood. You just needed more blood for the spell. That's always the problem. I'll wager I can and find that's a fact. Real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Ugh, oh, Dorian, you're such a cutie. Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. Saving the day, reconciling lovers, mediating a civil war. So sugary, it's nauseating. All this dancing, politics, and murder. Ah, <sighs> makes me a bit homesick. Is that something you actually miss? The drama, the scandal, the petty maneuvering. Uh -huh. Back home, we engage in social affairs with the grim intensity of war. When blood is spilled, the battle Less fun when you're the target, but to watch. My. Yes. Dorian likes to watch. I will write that down. Tasted of despair. That's it. I should go. As you wish. Uh, does Liliana have anything to speak of? Everyone's got something to fucking say now. After all these main quests. Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. 
You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, Fade, escaping the breach. Mm -hmm. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you were murdered in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? Uh, she saved me. She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Do you, do you remember? You don't understand. Wait. You don't know what she meant either. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. There is, after all, no shortage of vultures circling the Sunbird throne. Is becoming divine something you really want? When Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through storm. I'll help if I can. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, faders. But this is a discussion for later. Tifgorithius wins. Finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. We, uh, we, can I, can I, nailed it. <clears throat> okay, so I did the people over there. I could go talk to Josephine. I do have her quest to do. You know, I need to send some people on some quests. Let's do that. I think this whole fucking recording, the next like hour or two, is just going to be talking to fucking NPCs. <laughs> All these cutscenes take forever, so. Very dialogue heavy video, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I have a thing I can do. Um. Okie do. Hero for real then. Apparently only she can do this. Sixteen hours. Well, see what we have. have fun. Do we have any other long ones? Yep, yep. Y'all are just gonna spend all day doing these things, huh? Nah, that only takes an hour. You know what, Colin? You do this one. <clears throat> Alright. We have so many fucking quests. Investigate Elven Ruins. Or level 16. I have requests for information on your What's my power to make you interested parties at 83. Time. Okay, and trust they preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. No, I shall take them. 
I want to know who's behind for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. I'm not bait. What is this for? Hush. Just look pretty. Uh, I guess I opened the thing or something. I mean, I could apparently just continue with the main quest. I have so much fucking power. Uh, but there's so much more to see and so much more to do and so many fucking cutscenes to watch. Yosevin! Amazing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiran was at Countess Etienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antiban horse. Your pen is really wild. I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. At least they weren't bored. No one can say the evening wasn't memorable. They've already begun composing songs about it in Val Royal, no doubt. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. What if his kinsmen took advantage? Disturbing that so few people in the Orleans court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. Selena. The Empress realized she's in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of history. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. <sighs> Very exciting. Playing the game was thrilling. We did just make history. Indeed. Tales of this affair have begun circulating in Val Royale. Although I do wish Varric would show a bit more restraint in his account of these things. Does he talk about having an orgy? Was there an orgy after party, Varric, and you didn't invite me? So rude. This is the wrong fucking door. What am I doing? I wanted to go check on Lady Vivian. Is she? Which way is? How do I get to Vivian again? She's up there. It's one of these doors. Aha! This way. Uh, not that I want to talk to you. Where does this go? Have I been in here? What fucking room is this? My dear Uin? Aurora? Have I never seen these rooms? I feel like I recognize this room. Hmm. Okay, let's go talk to Vivian. She is a person who exists, I might as well. You know, she does have feelings about mages that I disagree with. I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. Is this her husband thing? There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wizard. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the civil war. Okay. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. Mm -hmm. I eagerly await your success. Okay. <laughs> she walks away and then she's here again. Oh, get me out of here. Ah, <sighs> those ankles. Do I have a requisition in here? What is the exclamation? Hello. Sad weapon. What, when the fuck did I get that? Have I had that? What the fuck is this? Oh my 
naked. You cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracas at Halam Sharal. Fracas. Unfortunately, the fr tied twice as many threads as cut. Although it is yet bewildering at the center. How's it going? Do we have what we need? The sky holds shining like a beacon. You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think. I think I like this job. There are problems coming out of Halam Sharal. Why were you doing it before if you didn't like it? We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. As you were. We are here. Cassandra, darling. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. Oh, do, why do you think I came here? To go make a sword? Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next divine. Because no, I didn't hear about that. Because what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without. Can they be priestess? Amar the Priestesses? third was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were at least part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not the candidate? Because they don't know what you are, and they're frightened of you. Rude. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. Odd. Are you I calling me fat? Why they believe Liliana or I would be any better? Who cares? <laughs> That's kind of. Uh. It'd be perfect. I think you'd make an excellent divine. Truly? I never look good in hats. Then don't wear a hat. Silly. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars. This cannot be what they intended when it all began. I think I will make Cassandra the, the Chantry divine. I think I made Leliana. Oh. Before. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you of all people say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. Our extreme time. Many extraordinary things have happened to get us to this point. I'm not so certain. I think it has been a long time coming. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? What does that mean? Oh, he blasphemes with every oh. second breath, but deep down he believes. Religious side, sorry. Virtuous. But he would never step foot in a chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. But he's it not needs virtuous. To Perhaps I'm the one to change it. Do I have multiple specials? I have influence, and I can use it to help the Chantry make up its mind. I cannot ask you to do that. You don't have to. If you think that is the right thing to do, then thank you. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now. Well, Nothing if more. you won't sleep with now, me. <laughs> restoring order and so I did want to romance you because I stupidly priority. thought you'd be bi for some reason. Oh, we have another. 
writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Love poetry, I assume. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse. It takes grace. You don't think you have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened. You're not even Adam sitting. She's like doing squats. Like, look, her I butt isn't there. touching that chair. That She's just <laughs> bending her legs. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the divine. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't know either. I don't know the truth any more than you do. Sadly, unanswered questions make for poor reading. They actually make for really good reading. People when love a mystery. When were physically in the fade, I was terrified for you. The last time such a thing happened, we created dark spores. We created Corypheus. No, the last time the I was in the fade, it was fine. Time, uh, no more the culture died. To the ages. You're talking about the time before last time. Something is troubling me, Inquisitor. Liliana is receiving reports of mages becoming possessed, Templars going rogue. No one is dealing with these matters. I was hoping we might before they get worse. Uh, of course. We can certainly look into it. I will mark these incidents on the map as I learn of them. Why the fuck would you ever say we have too much to do or not? Like when you investigate. About the tranquil cure. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure, not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to. So they get ADD. Is that what she said? There are so many tranquil. They deserve a chance to heal. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. Bye. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Hey, Krim. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Reach those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. Okay. We'll talk later. Why is Krim? Is it Krim or is it Sarah? But it's probably Sarah that has the face thing. I thought it would be weird that Krim. Oh, it's Cole. Wait. Wait. There is in here though, right? Okay, yeah. One for the Empress. Forget her. Briana. The Duchess. And Carissa. Right in the dangle bag. All right, you're clearly annoyed. What can I do? You're doing fine. It's the dead piled up in Halam Sherelle that's nagging at me. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right? So long as there's a book for the throne. A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, oh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things. With their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this. 
never sleep with an empress. We patched their spat, Briala and the Selene, but without their breakup, none of it would have happened like that. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's to your saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. I tried. It's just never an option. Or if it is, I'm worried it'll hurt me. I hear Vachelle was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. What's for shell? Let me know when you're ready to head out. Also, did I get all your red Jenny things? I feel like I only got two. I'm not ready to go just yet. Your choice, yeah? Hmm. Only so long it'll stay hidden. No, I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal is a mess. At least under the queue, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. I agree. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. You don't even have a cutscene? How's it going? We've done two main quests since the last time I talked to you. Everyone has a fucking cutscene, except for you and Krem. Who the fuck is Southern? Inquisitor, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me. Was it Keeper Sutherland? The bandits near my home, in your name. I hired Voss here. Don't tell anyone. A mage. A good one, though. Thank you for trusting me, Your Worship. I'll pay you back, I swear. Keep training, recruit. Good work. Keep with the training. We'll need every hand. Yes. Yes, Your Worship. We'll do just that. Won't we, Voss? He doesn't speak, but he's thankful too. Why doesn't he speak? Is he mute, or does he just not like speaking? Paul. Yes. Paul has a cutscene. Everyone has a cutscene, but no. you, Iron Bull. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits. Yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with binding. It isn't abuse, if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Rules around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion. If Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani Steel to protect spirits they summoned from rival mages. Spirits, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. All right, we can make Cole human now. We can get to that. Uh, who else is where else? Got Colin Blackwall. I'm missing anyone. This is Blackwall over here. Well, you're supposed to be over here, silly. Your little head icon is over here. Where are you going, you silly? Playing with an axe? Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. 
That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. We stopped him. We saved most of the wardens. But not all of them. And they died thinking they were doing something good. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. At the end of the day, I guess all we can do is try and hope for the best. You're right. What matters is that we never give up. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman, and she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the joining at the heart of it. All the Warden is, is a promise to protect others, even at the cost of your own life. I know this was a serious talk, but it's fucking cold in this room. I have a little Yuzu cat laying next to my feet to warm me, but it's still fucking freezing in here for some reason. <gasps> oh, goodness. Don't look into the fire. You'll go blind. Want to drink? Of a hankering for company. I don't drink. Fucking alcoholics. See? Look, only he has a cup. Mug. Sorry. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> what when is he looking boy, at? There were these urchins oh, who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day they found a dog, a wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? I wasn't there. How should I know? I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You couldn't have been the only one there, and no one else stepped in. Doesn't make what I did any less wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We but you didn't. could make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. When we first met, you were saving peasants from demons and outlaws. You're not a man who shuts his eyes. A little insane, maybe. <laughs> of course you'd make light of it. You make saving the world look easy. The rest of us can only dream of matching what you've done. Don't you see? It's not just about what happened back then. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. <laughs> Who the fuck is Cabot? I adore her. I have to go. Scout Harding is one of my favorite fucking characters. And it doesn't make any sense. I don't I'm like why, but she's so cute. Call Colin. Oh. Colin. Who's Colin? Inquisitor, if you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. Okay. Isn't my uh, trainer over here somewhere? What did they need again? Is that somewhere in my quest log? Do not fail yourself, Inquisitor. That is the one thing a Reaver cannot do. Let's not waste time. You've dragons to conquer, infusions to make, and blood to drink. Tell me the process. Right. Tell me how it begins. You have the instructions. I do not 
I don't remember the instructions. And then you get this fucking brother log. Need more fucking shards. Disease tissue. I don't remember what the fuck I need to do for your thing. I just don't. I don't know how or where it is. Oh, it's... don't break on the game. Cassandra, call in. Ooh, an exclamation. Cassandra, have you seen Colin? Is he in here? You asked for my opinion, and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... We will speak of this later. And people Am I say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium. Uh, you were to watch him. Yes, he trusted your judgment on the matter. <sighs> he was not interested in my judgment today. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refuse. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their lyrium leash. Where are you going? Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself and anyone who would follow hey, suit, that it's possible. Ooh, he can do this. So fucking heavy. I knew that when we met in Kirkwood. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. Oh, Yuzu doesn't want to talk to me, apparently. Rude. I gotta go all the way over and talk to him. Ugh. 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 I could sit in judgment. What do you think, Barrett? I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you. The second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something. <laughs> uh, do you believe I'm the Herald? Tell me the truth, Barrett. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Shit. Awkward. <laughs> I guess I do. Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. Uh, could be both. Let's be realistic. It could be both. You've got a point. Look at all the shit that's happened to you. You were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the fade. You traveled through time, faced down one of the ancient magisters who started the blight, had a mountain fall on you, and lived. Oh, yeah, Single-handedly saved the Orlesian Empire, stopped an army of demons. One of those things.
would be impossible. All of them together? That's a miracle. So, on the basis of my extraordinarily bad luck, you think I'm Andraste's herald? You know the story of Andraste. You know that bad luck is sort of her thing. Uh, I've been taking so long to do this. I might as well. Let's sit in judgment. Sit in my big dragon throne. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment. Where you will sit in judgment. Will I judge? Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Still more lies in my hands. You are a beacon of law, Inquisitor, as others retreat from responsibility. But this needn't be bloody. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Let's begin. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. Guess who? Yeah, I should put the nude Kun Kunari man. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal oh, this is who I thought. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice he might personally require for what was suffered in the faith. Many places felt the pain of adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, it's not just Corypheus, but Caventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground he trod in your pathetic life. I serve a living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the difficult. Glory awaits me. You know, I think everyone... So there's always an execution, and then there's like a special option, which in this case is the wardens, and you have to have like special whatever for it. Um, I think I'm going to just kill this guy. Can I watch him die? Lord Aramon, Everyone like that. The you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. Petty action. Truth lies in the next world. Why are you shaking your head? Why can't I use my fucking blue magic sword? I have to use this one. Like, y'all weren't prepared. Y'all knew what y'all were coming for. Y'all are all adult. What do you mean? Oh. Like, it was a surprise. Next. What if I just execute everyone? <laughs> Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Orc. Who the fuck is Sir Ruth? She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's act. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. I like her. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. 
I can't use the greater good to justify my crime. As if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't want to jail her. Public humiliation, maybe? Or... Draw state for kids, too. The Inquisition I am religious. Our work has greater purpose. Soul is greatly disapproved. Sometimes we need a reminder. The Ruth? The Herald of Andraste forgives you in her name. Find peace in that. Your worship, I... I will try. I don't remember hers. I guess it is just like a little thing. Most of these are like the main bad guys that I've captured, like the Duchess and uh, Magister. Thought it would go in order, but I guess it's going most recent to old. I don't know. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discover this man attacked us. The building with a goat. She's so... Mavran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? With a goat? You answered the death of your clan with a goat? <laughs> of course, Ruth. Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son. And I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holding with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. You meant to murder Tevintus, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> okay. Uh, arm and exile hunt to enter. Call to give it. So kick him out, kill him, or send him to Deventer. Okay. It seems our conflict was accidental, Chief Mavran, but it can't be repeated. I banish you and your clan, with as many weapons as you can carry, to Deventer. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all. more judgment we're gonna be judging people all day folks mayor gregory dedrick of crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. i remember you he confesses that 10 years ago he flooded old crestwood to kill refugees didn't he run away i thought we had a... oh i guess we did catch him in like a the mayor claims it was to spare the quest or whatever crestwood, but we only have war table one. stuff He's pleading guilty while claiming he's not. Which is it? There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood. Were no innocents caught in the water? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. Okay. 
Give him to the Great Warden. The blight was your undoing. Let it also be your means of redemption. I give you to our allies in the Grey Wardens to fight Darkspawn until the calling takes you. I don't deserve the honor, Your Worship, but I'll do my best. Okay. Well, wardening works out, I guess. Next prisoner. Hello. Hello. Okay. I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this escape. Her capture and oh, here she is. Must have been more public. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon. Although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture, you spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. Welcome to my party. Out of your element, <laughs> Florian. Welcome to the Inquisition. My party. Nah. Nah. Despite her posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. Do as you must. I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune. Uh, she doesn't see Jester's outfit bad shoes. Would she actually be around? I've never done this one, I don't think. She, unlike the first one we judged, isn't like a physical threat. He like so aggressively wanted to die and be put to work for his master. She, however, isn't a physical threat. She's a deception threat. Uh... I can't even kill her. Execution, she can be put to work. Exile, more work, religious work or whatever, and jester work. There's no kill. Put her to work she for us. She remains a creature of formality and opportunity. We have use for both. Grand Duchess, Josephine will see that your wiles profit the Inquisition. Don't disappoint. Oh, one must remember. That the game is never truly over, your worship. Don't cry. This is what I'm doing. <gasps> when the fuck are we getting to the Magister? Where the hell is he at? You recall Garion Alexius of There he is, took Ferenden forever. has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempt in assassination on your own night, no less. De Winter has disowned and stripped him of his rank. You may judge the former magister as you see fit. Remind me. What's the precedent for nearly ripping apart time at the seams? I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You want nothing. The people you save, the acclaim you've gathered. You lose it all in the storm to come. Render your judgment, Inquisitor. Uh, this one. Special. Your magic was theoretically impossible, Alexius. I could use people like you. Your sentence is to serve under guard as a researcher on all things magical for the Inquisition. No execution. <sighs> Very well. Sarah seems to be getting awfully perturbed by what I'm doing. How many people do I have to judge left? 
Before you is Servus of the Minerata Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western Abyss. Servus. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters, and using magic for conquest. Who is this? He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the approach, without his master's consent. You stole from Corypheus. I don't know whether that's stupidly brave or bravely stupid. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, Your Worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with <laughs> Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Kavinda who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor, and I can put them all at your disposal. Hmm. Someone who can smuggle magical artifacts to Devinter and back shouldn't be wasted on court diplomacy. Bring those artifacts back to the Inquisition. Procure something really useful, and we might loosen the shackles. Your worship knows value when she sees it. I won't disappoint. Sarah is so pissed at me. <laughs> Am I actually going to lose Sarah? I think if I upset her enough, I will. Really don't do good with Sarah. I don't know, I just... Her and Vivian, I don't like their attitudes. Uh... This is where I thought prisoners were kept. Are they kept here, like, afterwards for something? Or... For some reason, this is here. No one in any of these cells have a random guard. No one to watch over, your worship. No one to watch over. Hmm. I didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to jump. They need to make that a different button, because I like to jump. Look at this. Look how much fun I'm having. Uh, I talk to everyone when I look at my map. Okay, top level. Morgan, yep. Josephine, sure. Derek and Vivian. Solace, Dorian, Leona. I need to talk to Colin again. Colin! <laughs> Colin, are you done being a drug addicted baby? Are you gonna throw a fit when I walk in your door? Are you gonna be throwing shit against the wall like a little child who needs to break shit? He has feelings out, huh? You gonna break some expensive shit, Colin? Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I. Because you left the door open, silly. Forgive me. At least you missed. So long as you weren't aiming at me, I'm sure the box had it coming. I swear, I didn't know you were... <sighs> oh. I never meant for this to interfere. I, I believe you. But whatever good it does, it promises me nothing I cannot keep. Did you know Ferelden's circle was taken over by abominations? I did, actually. I was there. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was there, too. Not me, but me. You know. You know what I mean. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind, and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my knight commander, and for what? Hmm? 
Her fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall Circle. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better, that I would regain some control over my life, but these thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. You give enough, Cullen. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over, if you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. That's really close for us not to be romancing. I like Cullen, but we've already made an egg promise. You okay, bud? I need a moment. Can we speak another time? Sure thing, sweetie. Uh, I'll go... Are you done at the war map? I know the other two had, like, day-long quests, but yours was an hour. Have I burned an hour yet? It feels like this has been going on for a long time. Because I'm just, like, watching movie. I'm not really interacting a lot. Okay. Okay, he is ready. More influence. God. Damn. <laughs> Got so many things to do. What happened in Adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. Amulet for Cold. An offer from Crows. Patrol of Crew. Sir Ruth. Can Sir Ruth be a playable character in the next game, please? Can that be the Warden? There's a Warden in every fucking game. Like, come on. I like Sir Ruth. For some reason, I do. I don't know why I like them. <sighs> Doggy. Does... I mean, it would probably show up, but... Let's see if... Dag... Dagna? Dagda? Dagnus? Dagna. <laughs> know what it was like the colors the smells the magic i'm sorry it's just so exciting you went into the fey <clears throat> if you have time inquisitor do tell uh yes about the fade you seemed excited that i fell into the fade adam excited the spring gets me excited this is a wonder it's probably hard to relate but dwarves don't dream so i can't even guess what it's like I can't even understand what dreams are, but you were there, and came back. Can I take a sample? A sample? <laughs> oh, that's not the point. I meant, can I cut a little piece off of you and do things to you? That didn't sound better, did it? <laughs> You're weird. Have to say, Dagna, this is strange. You don't have to tell me. All the rules are breaking, and I've broken plenty, so I know. People cleaned you up after your fall. I wonder if anything is left. Much to think about. Okay. Did I equip my armor? Okay, I did. Because it had me on the formal armor. Um, I do want to get a purple ring. Look at me, I'm fucking loaded. Is there any kind of potion upgrade? Any of the grenades? You know, I never fucking use them. Uh, 
have 109 elf root and 59 royal elf root. I don't have more Amrita Bane. Bay. Need more Dawn Lotus. Need more Amrita Veins. Amrita Veins and Dawn Lotus. Okay. Let's go to my thing and see if I can get some Amrita. Got so much fucking Royal Elf Root. <sighs> I think that'll be it. This was just fucking movie watching. But, ooh, next time. Why? Where the fuck? Game, you need to get better at loading. Oh, this is the wrong door. Eh, it's fine. Oh, everything's blipping into existence. <laughs>